Welcome everyone to this tutorial on leverage points, where we'll be talking about places to intervene in a complex system, so to achieve high leverage and um, ultimately systems change. So this is building upon the work of Donella Meadows and the paper she produced, Places to Intervene in a, in a System, and uh, these uh, 12 different leverage points that we'll be exploring as we go through. We've broken the tutorial out into three main dimensions. We'll be talking about the iceberg model as a way to understand uh, the different levels of intervention, uh, mapping leverage points, uh, looking at systems maps, and then places to intervene there and how to design those interventions. And finally, we'll be talking about narratives for change as ways to influence the paradigm and thinking within the system and achieve that um, highest level of uh, influence. So just to flick through that quickly, we start by talking about what exactly leverage points are in the context of a broader systems innovation process. We have to understand the system, um, and we're moving away from looking at outcomes and trying to influence those to actually uh, looking at the systemic structure, trying to influence that. And then, of course, uh, the paradigm, the way that system is actually understanding itself, its objectives and so forth. Um, so we start there with a little context. Uh, and of course, uh, this whole idea of moving upstream, um, try, the highest points of leverage are actually uh, at the origins, uh, right upstream, so moving away from downstream interventions, the more uh, event level uh, interventions and uh, using the iceberg model to think about that. So we walk through this so that you uh, understand the different levels and um, how it can help us understand uh, the different interventions that we might uh, create in the system relating to each, each level, whether it's on the event pattern or structural level or the mental models, uh, we can respond in different ways. So we go into a little bit around systems uh, mapping and how to use that as a, a platform for understanding systemic structure and then thinking about those uh, number of different intervention points we might actually uh, make there, where we might make them and how we might uh, design them. We also look at the, the, the structure of the system. So this is just about um, the designing those intervention points, but then we go into look at the, the systemic structure, the, the network of connections within that system. Um, as another way of influencing it and changing it. Um, so we can design intervention points at the elements in the system. We can also think about the systemic structure here, the network, and how we might uh, best understand that and then find those places to, to intervene and, and alter uh, the flows of information, the connection of ideas, so on and so forth. Uh, the final sections, we're looking at the, the right bottom of the iceberg, the paradigm, the mental models, and that's going into stories and how we craft uh, stories for systems change. And uh, we we'll talk a bit about that. We then go into a canvas that would help us kind of structure and develop our own stories uh, for systems change. So that's the course. Uh, hopefully you'll join me. It's uh, one hour long and it'll help you better understand and develop your own strategy uh, for intervening um, in a system, places to intervene uh, within a system change initiative.